All right, guys, today we're going to be unboxing the Pario, I don't know if that's how you say it, Largo tea dripper stand set. They have a smaller one. It is um, shaped a little differently, but yeah, I'm going to open it up and show you guys how it works. Okay, um, really quick, I'll show you the components. I'm always interested in things like this, and these are things I think people don't tend to show in videos. Um, I want to give you a close-up of the stand. It has a silicone insert that goes right in the bottom. One thing that I noticed when opening, this is the stand. The bottom has these little, it's not hard plastic. These are soft silicone. So, oh, sorry, I'm... I'm really anxious to use this. I've had this sitting at my desk for weeks waiting to just get enough time to film it. So there's the bottom. This is going to be the pitcher it comes with and it is branded with Hario on there. So it fits perfectly. Again, they do have a different size. They have a smaller one. This is 800 milliliters. So it has the top is plastic. The vessel itself is glass. The one thing I'm a little disappointed in, it sits like this. Um, I thought this mechanism was a little more complicated for the price point of this. That is my kettle going off over here, I'm sorry. Um, these aren't cheap. They're anywhere from $75 to $100, depending on um, Amazon and that particular day. Y'all know how they do. So this itself let me bring in close this is just silicone and again i'm filming with one hand let me see if i can show you guys the only thing holding that tin is a ball a little ball and let me set this down and i'll show you guys this little lever is literally just hanging in there okay it can come in it can come out so, I mean, if you barely tap that, I don't know if y'all can see, if you barely tap that, your tea is going to leak out, which we're going to test that. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get some tea in it. We're going to brew and hopefully it'll work out. This thing has gotten a lot of really good reviews. So, I've, I've been seeing it used by a lot of upscale tea companies i purchased one i wanted to see it for myself and if i like it i actually want to get a second one because a lot of times i'm brewing a tea for me and a tea for someone else like my kids or my boyfriend or a lot of times i'm brewing one to ice and then a hot one so um for my tea area which is a mess it's in the works right now um i wanted to have two so we'll see how this does Decided to go with David's Tea Caribbean Crush. So I'm going to put. I'm trying to do this one handed, y'all. I don't know. Maybe two or three in there. All right. I'm just so afraid that all there is is a little metal ball in there. All right, so we're going to fill this up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hannah, I'm filming. All right, so we're back. I've let it steep. And I'm going to just barely tap just to see. Oh, yeah, that, that ball mechanism in there, that's real sensitive. God bless you. Of course, everyone that's quarantined in my house has to be as loud as they can. Okay, I'm just watching this to make sure it doesn't over. <clears throat> so that actually worked really, really nice. That's what it looks like. I am overall impressed. I'm still going to put it through the test. I'm going to be using it the next couple of days. And, um... That'll help me determine if I want to get the second one for my tea station, but thought I would give you guys a look at it. The Hario products are known for quality, so if I decide, you know, over the next week or two that it's not, like, 
you know, that there are flaws or something like that, I will update you guys in the comments below. Remember, like and subscribe. I'll see everyone soon. Someone on the reviews on Amazon said that the picture is poorly made and that it doesn't pour correctly. I watched the promotional video. It seemed to pour just fine. So I thought we would go ahead. Oh, I see. Hold on. Mmm. Okay. So what is happening? These two indentions right here. If you pour too fast, it goes over these indentions. So it's not that it's poorly made. It's not made to rush. Like, see... Well, it's not doing it now, but if you guys look at when I first started pouring, that was the issue, is that you go at it trying to dump it all in. It's going to overflow, but um seems to be just fine now. So, just in case, you know, y'all read the reviews, you research it, it's fine. Just, if it's really full, you just got to pour slowly.